Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Memcached on Ubuntu. And not only that, but show you under the hood how some of this caching works as far as key value pairs, setting the expiration for them, um, deleting them, viewing them, all that stuff. So if that's something you want to learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. We're going to be working with an Ubuntu server, Ubuntu 20.04 here, which I am logged into via SSH. And the first thing I'm going to do is to actually install Memcache. So we can do that with apt-get install install mem cached hit enter and this is a quick one this won't take too long and when it's finished it'll actually start itself up and uh, start running in the background so we can check that with system ctl status mem cached and you'll see like we thought um, it is active and running and uh, the command for that, um, it's located at user bin memcached. It's running on port 11211, and it's running on localhost. And the, the IP address for localhost is 127.0.0.1. Now we can <clears throat> verify, excuse me, all of that information by looking at the configuration file, which is located at etcmemcache.conf. And in here, um, it's good to know the, the log file for memcache is located at var log memcached. And if we just work our way down this file, we'll see some other options. Again, the port running at uh, 11211 and uh, the IP address 127.0.0.1. So good to know that this is all coming from this configuration file here. Let's go ahead and um, show you some of, you know, like, like I said, behind the scenes of how this uh, caching works and, and at a very basic level, it's just a key value pair. So you're, you're setting a key and associating a value to that key. And sometimes they have expiration, sometimes they don't. Um, let's go through some examples to show you how that works. So best way to do that is with Telnet. So we can uh, Telnet into um, localhost and uh, we're gonna give it the port number 11211. And localhost is just uh, a host name for the, the IP address 127.0.0.1. Um, so go ahead and telnet into the, the memcached server. And what we wanna do, um, I, I think the best the thing to do here is just to show you an example and explain what I'm doing. So I'm gonna set a key. Okay, so set hello uh, 007, hit enter, and then goodbye. Okay, so what the heck did I just do here? The, the syntax for setting a key um, on the command line in terminal or in a telnet here is the command. Okay, so we have set is the command. The key, the key name is hello. This could be anything. The key name in this case is hello. Then this first uh, argument here is the any flags that you wanna pass in. So there's a whole list of flags. If you look at the documentation, we're not gonna pass any flags. So that's why we're giving it a zero. <clears throat> the expiration. So if you want this to expire, um, you know, 10 seconds from now, you can put 10. If you want it to expire an hour from now, you can put 3,600 in seconds. Um, but we don't want an expiration, so we keep this as zero. So this will be stored in the memcached server cache forever, unless we explicitly delete it. And then um, seven is the number of bytes of the value. So what does that mean? So goodbye has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters, each letter being one byte. So that's why we're saying uh, seven bytes, expect the, the, the value to be seven bytes. So that all looks good. Um, you hit enter after each one and then uh, it stores it. And we know that because it said stored. So if we wanna get the value of hello back out, we can say get hello and we should see the value come back here, uh, goodbye. Okay, so it's gonna spit that back out for us. Uh, let's set another key, set Tony. We don't want any flags, we don't want an expiration, and the value is gonna be 12 bytes. And I'll say teaches, T-E-A-C-H-E-S, tech. Okay, hit enter, and it, expect, accept, it accepted that, it stored it, and we can go do the same thing, get Tony, and it pulls that, uh, that value back out via the key. Now, if we want to delete um, a key value pair, we can do that with the delete command. So delete, 
hello. So hello has now been deleted. And if we try to get it back out, get hello, uh, we don't get anything back because there is no key value pair anymore. Um, let's try an example with an expiration. So what if we do something like set temp, the name of our key is temp. We don't want any flags. We want it to expire in 10 seconds from now. And the value is going to be seven bytes long. And I'll just say for the value, what's up. Now, if we get temp, it's still within the first 10 seconds. So we get that value back out. What's up. Let's try to get temp again. Um, and we are past the expiration, so we don't actually get anything back. We just see end here. So um, that's how the expiration works. Now, um, if we look at some stats here, we can see that uh, at this point, uh, we have three total items. What do we have? We have the uh, hello, Tony, and the temp, the temp one. It's uh, still counting that, I guess. Um, so that's just, and there's a whole bunch of other different stats here um, as far as what's what's happening um, under the hood. So if you want to look at them, that's how you do that. But if we want to actually look at the, the existing uh, keys that we have created, we can do that. <clears throat> I think the easiest way to do that is to get out of Telnet and install a helper program. So let's do that. We can get out of Telnet with um, the control um uh, or shift, I'm, I'm not sure what the key is, this this key right here, okay, and then hit enter, and then you can type quit, and you're back to your um, your terminal shell window here, and the, the program that we want to install is apt get install uh, lib mem cached tools, and I mean part of, oops, apt get install, I spelled install wrong, part of the uh, Lib memcache tools is uh, the the m it's what is it called it memc dump okay so it's short for memcache m memc dump so part of libcache tools is memc and you can tab complete dump and if you want to look at um, all of your variables like I promised we can do dash dash servers equals localhost and you'll see uh, well at this point because we deleted hello. We only have actually one um, key value pair because the temporary one expired too. So we only have Tony existing at this point. Um, and that's how we can look at a list of all the keys. So hopefully this gives you an idea about what is going on behind the scenes with Memcached. Um, if you want to actually put this into practice with something as far as WordPress is concerned, I have a video specifically on that right here. So check that out. I also have some other videos about Memcache and also Redis. Uh, that you might be interested in as well. So check those out too. Thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.